video we're going to start installing Kali Linux 2021.1 uh, that's the latest one so I'm going to show you guys how to install Kali Linux on a virtual machine so I have got a VMware Workstation Pro 16 and I'm going to create a new virtual machine and while I do that I'll select the operating system so Kali Linux is my operating system Kali Linux 2021.1 select that and then move on to the next one select linux as an operating system uh, you can pick ubuntu or debian they're both same so you can just pick one of these the, the distributions are same and then move on and then say kali as your name so i'll name it because i got another version so i'm just going to put the version number and then go to the next one so the operating hard disk is fine um, i'm going to just change the ram size to 4 gig um, so that it's easy to run so change to run size 4, click finish. Right, so the virtual machine has been created. Let's go power on the virtual machine. So now we're going to start the installation process. So here we have uh, different options to install the operating system, but I'm going to use a uh, graphical interface, right? So I'm going to use graphical install. So select that and then click enter. Once you entered, uh, you can see, of course, uh, it's mounting DVR drive, so that's the disk mounting. Um, yep, now we are ready to install the operating system. So let's go click continue, and then you're going to select the country. So you can select your country, and then the keyboard type. So I can select American English as a keyboard type. So it's just testing or identifying the hardware requirements and of course scanning for installation media so once the installation media is detected we will move on to the next step right so it's now identifying and retrieving the applications and everything so detecting the hard disk so of course i have put this virtual machine in NAT mode so definitely this is going to get the ip address from my DHCP right so you can see it's in net mode so in that mode it's going to get the IP address from the DHCP which is already configured here so if you look at it here we have in that mode we have got IP so it will get an IP in the range of 20 right yep give the host name so Kali that's fine domain name you can give any domain name so, you right again remember this has to be if you are going to talk to public network or outside the network so you must have a proper registered domain name i have got a registered domain name so i'm just going to use that registered domain name otherwise you can pick any names um this is just the name for the full user uh, your full name for the user and that will pick as the username and then you move on you'll ask for the password so I'm just going to give my default password. Um, most of the time, if you download Kali Linux from my their website, uh, you can see you will have Kali and Kali as a default username password. Um, if you download it from their website, they have got the VMware copy in their website, so you can download it from there directly, right? You don't need to sometimes go through the installation process. You can just download the virtual machine and you can run it so i picked the operating system so if you go back here in kali so um, if you go to the download here we have a virtual machine so this is on the kali.org website here we have the virtual machine so you just click here it will go directly and it will download a virtual machine so this is a completed virtual machine has got a default username and password kali kali so once you install that or once you download that it will just go save as a virtual machine file so you can see it's a pre-built virtual machine file all you have to do is just open the virtual machine configuration file right and then it will pop. i'll show you once i finish this installation i'll show you that is this machine right so i'm just going to go with the default virat default hard disk i'm going to use the entire hard disk space yep complete that and here you have to take yes because you wanted to write changes yep click yes move on to the next one so it's installing the base operating system once the base operating system is installed it will ask you to select the different options like especially for the desktop experience so there is a genome 
um, there is um, different types of um, operating system um, GUI variations are there. Uh, I'm not going to pick anything else because I'm happy with whatever they have got as an existing uh, graphical user interface. Remember, on the first screen, I picked the graphical install, so that is already uh, selected. So we don't need to go for another separate uh, experience, desktop experience. So we can just skip that part. Um, I'm going to pick default, right? So let's uh, finish this part. So that's installing the base operating system. Once the base operating system is installed, it will ask you to select the uh, additional packages, right? Uh, we can see, hold on for a second. So it's scanning, um, select the install software. Right, here we go. So uh, since I picked the graphical, so it has already picked these options right you can of course go and pick genome but you don't really need to pick the genome so i'm just going to continue right so it's installing almost 1924 different packages right so it's going to install so uh enter um come back here we can see that's all right done install the grab loader yeah continue enter device manually Right. right, it's installing grab loader. Once the grab loader is installed, right, it's almost finishing. It's almost going to finish. Um, right, so what I'm going to do, uh, yeah, let's let's. It's almost finished, right? So. Let's wait for a couple more minutes. Um, once the installation is finished, we can just load the operating system. So this is pretty straightforward as um, other operating system installation, right? Done, finish installation, continue. Right, it's all done, finished. So your Kali Linux is ready, right? Login. So when you go there, you can enter your username and password. So I have, that's my username and my password. It's wrong. 